Over the past month, it has been debated if the Ohio women's basketball team will lose another MAC game this season. The way coach Bob Bolden and his team have been playing, it didn't look likely. With their last loss coming more than a month ago, Coach Bolden and his players showed no signs of slowing down anytime soon. But Eastern Michigan stormed the convo on Wednesday night and left with a 73-61 victory over the Bobcats. Before the loss, the Bobcats were riding a 10-game win streak, which is more wins than they had all of last season. In the game, the Bobcats continued to sub out players to outrun EMU, who was playing their second game in two days. A 12-0 run by the Eagles and offensive miscues from the Bobcats kept the game close for the entire first half, and Ohio had a slim 31-28 lead over EMU. Eastern Michigan took the lead early in the second half and never looked back from there. Strong inside play from the Eagles and Ohio being in foul trouble hurt the Bobcats down the stretch. The Bobcats put a 7-2 run together at the end of the second half, but EMU's lead proved to be too much. In the 2013-2014 season, the Bobcats had a 10-game losing streak. So though the loss felt like a dagger through the heart for Ohio, it was a wake-up call going into the one of the biggest games of the season. In their last meeting with the Zips, the Bobcats jumped out to an early 24-9 lead to start the game, thanks to shooting 6 for 8 from behind the three-point line. Despite going almost 6 minutes without a field goal to close out the first half, the Bobcats were able to hold a 9-point lead going into the locker room. Sina King and Anita Brown, the second and third leading scorers in the MAC respectively, pulled the Zips back in the second half to tie the game at 37. From there, the Bobcats started hitting their shots and were able to defend the convo and pull out the 72-60 victory over the Zips. Coach Bolden and his team will look to bounce back on Saturday as they travel to Akron to face the Zips for the second time this season. Tip-off is scheduled for 5 p.m. from the James A. Rhodes Arena.